newspaper files of the early West record many stories of famous and notorious characters of that period. Bill Longley, born in Texas in 1851, killed 32 men before he reached the age of 26 and became the most feared and vicious gunman of his time in or out of prison. Leavenworth, Kansas, 1876. Fire in the hole! Clear! That's the time. Come on, Longley. Longley, you ain't even worked up a sweat. What are you doing? Thinking about that 50,000 you put under a rock someplace? Why don't you tell us where it is? <laughs> you won't be needing it in here. You, the judge, and a thousand others would like to know that. So if you're faking, get up. There's nothing wrong with you that solitary won't cure. There we are. Your turn will come right now. We're getting a head start. Come on. Bill Longley was wanted for a dozen killings. Before Longley was jailed for murder, he held up to Burleson Depot in Texas and escaped with $50,000 of the railroad's money. I'm Matt Clark, railroad detective. My only lead was that Longley had a girl, Mamie Logan, trapeze performer with the Roberts Carnival Circus. I caught up with the circus in Nacogdoches, Texas. Frankie Adams, another operator, had been sent on ahead to join the circus and keep an eye on Mamie in case Longley tried to contact her. Well, hi, Ruby. Well, Big Jim Dawson, what are you doing in town? Well, I heard you were with the circus, so I thought I'd come over and have a look. It's good to see you. How are the folks? Oh, they're fine. Bring this with you, will you, Ruby? Oh, sure. Oh, this is uh, Mamie Logan, my roommate. Best triple spin artist in the business. Well, pleased to meet you, Mamie. Howdy. I gotta go warm up. I'll see you around. Sure. It's about time you got here. What's happened? Mamie got a letter this morning. She packed her suitcase and all ready to skip. Did you get a look at the letter? No, but from the way she's acting, it must be from Longley. Good. While she's doing her act, see if you can find the letter. I'll keep an eye on her. All right. Hey, you. Where's Mamie's dressing room? Mamie, darling, I promised I'd break out. I'm heading for the border in a couple of days, and I want you and that money to go with me. I'm sending a friend to bring you to where I'm hiding. Mamie? Who is it? A friend of yours. You Mamie Logan? What if I am? I've never seen you before. You got a letter, didn't you? I don't know. You a friend of Bill's? Yeah, and if we're going, you better get with it. What's your name? What difference does it make? Go on, change your clothes. Where are we heading? I'm taking you to Bill. Yeah, but uh, where is Bill? Stop asking questions and get ready. All right, don't get sore. Wait outside until I change. Uh-uh. You can change behind the screen over there if you want. All right, have it your way. Is 
There's some whiskey in that other trunk you drank. No, thanks. Finished. Double cross is this? What happened to him? Where did he go? I don't know. He must have drowned. Who was he? A friend of Bill Longley's. He was going to tell me where Longley was hiding, and you had to be a big hero and spoil everything. Now, isn't that just like a woman? I saved your life in 60 feet of water, and you don't even say thanks. Sorry, Matt. Well, I guess we're worse off now than when we started. Well, not quite. Now we know for sure that Longley's trying to get in touch with the girl. Did you find the letter? Yes. Well, if Mamie doesn't show up, he most likely will send somebody else after. Or come himself. I guess we'd better get back to the circus before Mamie misses us. Yeah. Where is he? What happened? Something went wrong. Well, Mame's all right, isn't she? Well, that all depends on how you look at it. What do you mean? Bill, I know how you feel about your girl. And you mustn't fly off the handle and get all shook up about this. What have they done to her? Nothing, but maybe she's double-crossed you. You're lying. No, she pulled a gun on me. You're lying. So help me, I'm not. The whole thing was a trap, Bill. I was lucky to get away. Bill, I'm sorry. I wouldn't do anything like this. I'd cut off my right arm before it. All right. Tell me about it. Well? When I got there, she didn't act in any hurry to come with me. Kept asking me where you was hiding out. And in the buckboard, well, when this guy come chasing us, she started... Guy? To... What guy? Big, tall, good-looking fella. Why, that cheating little... I couldn't hear what they said afterwards. But they sure acted like old friends. That's enough. Don't be a fool. She isn't worth it. Listen, I gave that little double-crosser a lot of money to hold for me, and I'm going after her. The law will be looking for you now. You better forget it. I ain't the type to forget.
make a sound. Dale, you fight! Keep away from me. All I want from you is money. Oh, what's got into you? You ought to know, you double-crossing, two-timing... You gone crazy or something? Don't give me that. You tried to double-cross Kelso when he came to pick you up. I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody came for me. You're lying! Why should I lie to you? I love you. I've been waiting for you. Eating my heart out for you. And you come busting in here, kid. Where's the money? It's safe. I didn't ask you how it is. I asked you where it is. You listen to what I got to say, or you'll never set eyes on that money. All right. Say it. Look, look I, I don't know what this is all about. If I'd wanted that money, I could have taken it. Gone out to Europe and had myself a high old time. Instead, I stayed with this flea bit circus. Sweating out two shows a day. You know why? Because if I stayed here, you'd know where to find me. Now, what do you say to that? <laughs> Please, Bill. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's that? Just one of the clowns. Honey, I gotta get out of here. Where'd you hide the 50,000? With a friend up in Delta. Look, I'll meet you in Delta day after tomorrow. Right. Matt Clark's my name. I examined the body outside. It's Kelso, one of the escaped convicts. Yeah? There's a girl involved, too, Sheriff. Well, where is she? I don't know. She disappeared along with Frankie Adams, another railroad detective working on the case with me. Well, at least we got one of them. But you should have notified me the minute you spotted Longley. <laughs> I didn't have much time, Sheriff. If this girl met Longley, Frankie would have followed her. Well, there's still a chance we can get a line on Longley. I don't know. There's a better chance that Frankie's in trouble. He's a smart operator, but tracking's not one of our main points. That's what you think. Frankie, where in the world have you been? I've been tracking. What happened to your head? I had a fight. Man got killed, and Longley's still at large. I brought Sheriff Mast in on the case. Mamie ducked out right after you left. I followed her into town. She went to the stage depot and bought a ticket for Delta. She left on the night stage. Well, that might mean that she's meeting Longley and Delta. That's what I figured. Well, in that case, we could ride across country and be there before she arrives. Saddle up. You coming, Frankie? I'll be right with you. Fine. We rode all that night. The following morning, we reached Delta.
Well, we beat it. It's due in any minute. Let's watch in the post office. Far so good, but where's Lonely? Does that answer your question? Sure, you weren't followed? No, I slipped away from the circus during all the excitement. Yeah, well, where's the fellow who's got the money? Just across the street. He doesn't know there's money in the package. And remember, I told him we're married and our name's Gray. Well, let's get it over with. I got a couple of horses hidden outside of town. They're going into the church. I don't get this. Are you sure that's Longley? Yeah. Let's give him a little time. That'll keep us out of sight. Cover the back of the house. You better stay here, Frank. We'll wait until they leave. We can endanger that preacher's life. Sergeant, it's sure nice of you to go to all this trouble. When I left that package with you, I thought my husband and I would be back much sooner than this. Only two happen to be of service. This it? Why, of course. Yes, yes, that's the right one. Here, babe, hold this. He spotted us. All right, Longley. Come on out with your hands up. Longley. It's no use, Bill. They'll kill us. No, they won't. Come here, Parson. Get over there. Open the door. No, Bill. Fame, open the door. Get over there. Get back, all of you. The parson gets it to head. Come on, I mean it. We better do as he says. We can catch up with him later. All right, fall back. Don't listen to him. He'll kill me anyway. Show it. It's not too bad, Bill. Well, get us out of here. Don't worry. I, I couldn't run far like this. You go on. No, not a chance. You can come back for me later. I'll, I'll wait like I did before. Please, Bill. You sure that's the way you want it? That's the way I want it. All right, ma'am. Bye, honey. <laughs>
hell we got him, Frankie. Did you get the money? Yeah, I found the money, but... For what? Well, both Mamie and the parson are badly hurt. He's in the other room. Can I talk to her? Yeah, I guess so. Hello, Bill. Hello, honey. I knew you'd come back for me if I waited. You should have told me, Bill. Bill, hold me a minute, will you? Sure. Oh, it's all wrong. I love you, Bill. But I wish, I wish. Longley was brought to trial, convicted and sentenced to hang. The date of the hanging was October the 11th, 1878. The place, Giddings, Texas. Time to go, Bill. Anything you want? Uh, kind of like a cigar. Oh, that's easy. <clears throat> this fellow's a reporter. He'd like a statement. Got anything you want to say to him? Thank you. Well, I haven't got much to say, except I kind of hate to die knowing I got so many enemies and almost no friends. Papers say I killed 32 men. You probably want to know why. Well, it was revenge, I guess, mostly. I know now that was wrong. A man tries to get even with the world, he just winds up getting even with himself. So on. Come on, Sheriff, let's get this over with. I think I've seen enough of this town, Matt. I've got to get back to the circus. Circus? Yeah. Maybe you don't know it, but the clown that loaned you his suit and painted your face was Mamie's father. I've got to tell him what happened to his daughter. Are you going to tell him the truth? I don't think so. 